What's up traders? So, so far I've showed you guys three strategies for Elite Algo. We got the trend helper, the order block, and we had the price action indicator. Now I'm gonna show you guys the absolute easiest strategy you can use with Elite Algo if you're an absolute beginner. And this strategy works on every single time frame in every single market, as long as you're using TradingView. So if TradingView offers Forex, stocks, crypto, futures, you name it, this strategy is gonna work perfectly for that. And it'll work on every time frame. So all the way from the five minutes to the one hour, 15 minute, four hour, you name it, you can use this strategy with that. Also guys, before we start the video, our last video did not hit 500 likes. That means we could not do the giveaway. If we want to make sure that we give away $500 every single video that we make, we need to have 500 likes on that video. So if you're watching the video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. That way we can do that $500 giveaway for every single video. And one of you guys could be walking away with an extra 500 bucks in your pocket. All right, so let's get into the strategy. Now, we've had a lot of people ask us if Elite Algo works on Bank Nifty, the Indian markets, and it's always yes. So for this video, we're gonna have it on this. But just remember guys that it works on Forex, crypto, stocks, futures, pretty much everything inside of TradingView, this strategy will work for it. So for this strategy to work guys, what you want to do is you want to have these following settings for Elite Algo. Again, if you guys don't know how to access the settings on Elite Algo, it's extremely simple. All you got to do is either go hover over says Elite Algo Premium and hit settings or just right click one of these signals and then hit settings. It's going to bring you to the same page as you see right here. Now for this strategy, it's extremely simple. What you want to do is you want to have the auto tuner turned on and have it under the midterm strategy or short term strategy. This part is preference based on what you like best. Next, what you want to do is you want to go for all signal modes. You want to click this drop down menu and you want to hit confirmed. This will give you only confirmed signals. This give you a lot less signals, but this is what we're going to want because it's going to make trading extremely simple. Then we're going to go down and we're going to turn on the take profit and stop loss areas. And we are going to set two take profits for this with a tight stop loss or a normal stop loss, whichever you guys want. It's up to you. This part here is preference as well. Then we're going to press OK. And this is what we are going to be left with when it comes to our trades. Now, because we have the algo in confirmed mode, this means that we're going to get a lot less signals, guys. We are no longer going to get rotating signals where buy and sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Now we're just going to get the best possible signals that the algo thinks that you should be trading. So if we look back, we can see that these are the signals that the algo said that you should be taking for this moment. Now, the way you want to trade this is extremely simple, guys. You want to enter a trade whenever a buy or sell signal appears on your chart. Now, if you have a hard time finding the buy and sell signals perfectly at the same time that it comes on your chart, then what you can do is you can set an alert. Let me show you how you can set an alert for this. So in order to set an alert, it's extremely simple. What you want to do is simply just right click one of these signals and you want to hit add alert. That's it. And then from here, you just want to pick your conditions. So what you want to do is you want to have all signals. And then you're going to do once per bar close. You're going to type up your message and then you're going to hit create. It's very, very simple. And you can also pick where you want to be notified. So if you want to be notified through the app or show a pop up or send you an email or a web hook, it's up to you. But this is pretty much how you create an alert. It's extremely simple and not hard at all. Just make sure, guys, that once you create an alert, do not change the settings for Elite Algo because it will mess up the alerts and you will not have the same thing happening on your chart. So you want to make sure that once you set an alert, you keep the settings for Elite Algo the way you had it before. And also when you set an alert, it's going to set an alert for the time frame you're currently on. So if you're on a four hour time frame like I am right now, then it's going to set an alert for that time frame. So if you want to have alerts on different time frames, then just go ahead and change different time frames and create alerts. And that's pretty much it. Now that we understand how to create alerts, now let's talk about when do we enter? How do we set our stop loss for this? And what's our exit condition? Okay, so very simple guys. What we wanna do here is we wanna enter when we get a buy signal on the this, this, this signal itself. So for example, over here, we would wanna be entering right around this area, right? When we got this signal, we would wanna enter right around this area. And we want to set our stop loss according to the stop loss that Elite Algo has given us. So for example, over here, this is the stop loss that Elite Algo gave us. 
And then what we want to do is we want to take the signal. And the second we see the first X, we want to take our stop loss and put it to break even. That way, if we lose that trade, we are not losing any money because we moved our stop loss to break even. And then after that, what we want to do is we want to just wait until the price hits our take profit or our stop loss after that. So the X will signify move your stop loss to break even. And then you just want to wait until the price either hits your take profit or your stop loss. And that way you can exit the trade. Very, very simple. So for example, over here, when we took this buy signal, what we would have done is we had a stop loss like this. And the second this first uh, X was given, if it was before our stake profit too, then what we can do is move our stop loss to break even. And then wait until the price goes and hits our second take profit, which is over here. And then we would have made a good two to one risk reward ratio on this trade. Same thing over here, guys. We have this signal right here that we're given. We set our stop loss probably would have, would have been somewhere around here. We won't see it because right now the stop loss is set for this current last signal. But again, the second we see the first X, we move our stop to break even. Sorry move our stop to break even very simple and then we wait for it to hit our take profits it is extremely simple this strategy to use and it works on every single thing inside trading view so go ahead and try it guys for yourselves if you have any questions leave them down in the comments down below and that's pretty much it hope you guys like this video have yourselves a good day